Are you still struggling to find out what new measures are being taken where you live? Wait till you see what other expats are passing through during this pandemic. We tried to compare the COVID-19 measures that are being implemented in diverse expat enclaves. However, we noticed that some places are implementing very different things. So, for instance, you must walk or drive alone in Cabo. Only vehicles with local license plates may be used in Cancun. And wearing a mask is mandatory in San Miguel de Allende. The decrees and communiques that I could read sound sometimes like our constitution. A list of things that you wish were taking place, but that you cannot, or will not, enforce or guarantee. Most of the times this leads to an uneasy situation where more than one person is, for instance, inside of a car, and the authority pretends not to notice. However, be very careful. This scene could end up with someone asking for a bribe. And good luck with defending yourself with our constitution. Better to stay home and practice social distancing. Now let's take a look at what is being done in Baja, Nayarit, Quintana Roo and San Miguel de Allende. You may only work or drive alone, no fiestas, 36 hours of arrest and a fine of 8,000 pesos. These are just some of the measures that were announced on April 23 by the governor of Baja California Sur. The publication of the decree left some people asking whether one person can drive someone else to the airport, or if you can take an Uber. The response of the authorities was more lenient. Of course, there should be no problem if everyone in the car shows their airplane tickets, said the Minister of Tourism some days ago. But the truth is that, in writing, only one person is allowed in the car, just as there is no explicit exemption for those who want to exercise in public spaces. So try to stay home until May 30, and if you need to go out accompanied, make sure he or she is an elder person, a child or a disabled person. Otherwise, you will be at the mercy of the authorities, and some may be hunting for bribes. The governor of Baja California belongs to the ruling party, Morena, center-left, so he has basically complied to what the federal government recommends to do during phase 3. Maybe the most contrasting measure that was implemented here was when he allowed the National Guard to interrogate passers-by on March 31st. But this is definitely the state with the most flexible measures that we are going to see today. Quintana Roo is one of the few states where wearing a mask is mandatory if you are in a public space. Here you should only go out if you are really doing an essential activity, if you are going to get some basic goods, or if you need medical treatment. And if you are not doing any of these things, you should only move on foot or take public transportation. The use of private vehicles is going to be restricted during the weekends. And if your license plates are from other states or countries, you will not be allowed to drive for a while. Aside from that, this state is doing something which hopefully becomes a good practice. They are summoning diverse social sectors to make a solidarity pact to face the economic effects of the contingency. In Nayarit, only two persons may be in a car and the co-pilot must sit in the back. That is right, if you are taking a cab or an Uber, it is explicitly stated that only one passenger may go in each car, unless you are being accompanied by an elder person, a child, or a disabled person. This restriction also applies to private vehicles. Aside from that, the mobility restrictions and exemptions are basically the same as the ones we have seen. The only difference is that the authority is allowed to dissolve any agglomeration of people no matter what, and it is not specified just how many people compose an agglomeration. The government of Guanajuato has not implemented major measures during Phase 3, although the Minister of Health stated already in April 22 that exercising in public spaces was not allowed and that going to the gym, attending parties or reunions was banned. However, at the municipal level, San Miguel de Allende has just implemented more restrictive measures. Thus, since May 1st, it is mandatory to wear a mask in public spaces, public transportation and essential activities. Besides, people who organize fiestas or private gatherings could be arrested for up to 36 hours and fined 1,000 pesos. It is not very clear just how far the authorities could go exercising these faculties. 
The mayor said they would not be harassing the people on April 23. And then, on May 1st, he said, our hand won't shake at the moment of imposing these sanctions. The governor of Jalisco, Independent, previously MC, Senor Left, has been leading a national front against COVID-19, which implies more restrictive sanitary measures and a more comprehensive economic rescue plan. For this reason, the use of a mask is mandatory in this state. Fiestas, which could be interpreted as those with more than 50 persons, have been banned, and those that do not comply with these norms could be sanctioned. Sanitary filters in the highways, and particularly those bordering other states, are being enhanced. So do not be surprised if transit between Nueva Vallarta and Vallarta is more restricted during these days. In your opinion, which state is implementing the most adequate measures? Please let us know.